atrial fibrillation it is a complex arrhythmia it is abnormal automatic firing and presence of multiple re-entry in the circulation it is a disorganized atrial depolarization without an active atrial contraction if you see the causes there are uh, two causes cardiac causes and non-cardiac causes cardiac causes are the hypertensive valvular ischemic heart disease and uh, cardiomyopathy and pericarditis and non-cardiac causes are the pulmonary causes like such as pneumonia, COPD and uh, pneumothorax and uh, hyperthyroidism and, uh, and due also due to excess catecholamine release and uh, also the usage of drugs and alcohol. It, uh, mo- age of onset is less than 60 years and uh, uh, there are three types of atrial fibrillation. We have paroxysmal, persistent and permanent. The paroxysmal is a recurrent atrial fibrillation. Uh, it uh, occurs in uh, spontaneous in less than 24 hours and uh, terminates in less than 7 days. Whereas persistent, it uh, fails to terminate in less than 7 days and permanent, it lasts for more than 1 year. The symptoms are it's an incidental finding, incidental finding and uh, along with the, the uh, presence of palpitation, breathlessness and fatigue. And uh, ECG will uh, show an uh, RR interval is a, uh, follows a pattern of irregularly uh, irregular pattern and the uh, absence of P wave. And uh, regarding the management of atrial fibrillation, we follow the race protocol. First, we control the rate control by using esmolol, uh, which is a beta blocker, and verapamil is a calcium channel blocker and uh, also we uh, use trans esophageal and uh, trans thoracic echo uh, to, to scan the heart and uh, we also use anticoagulants such as dabigatron to minimize the embolic stroke and uh, also we use chemical cardioversion such as ibutolite which we use anti-arrhythmic and amiodarone thank you